Hello YouTube friends. I'm going to make some soup. Because it's winter and why wouldn't you make soup? I'm going to make soup from the Patreon reward that I've written and Martha and Adam have made beautiful and printed. Uh, Martha's done the lovely drawings and Adam has printed it on his uh, Riso printer, whatever that is. And so I'm going to make this soup because they're coming for supper tonight. So I thought it'd be quite nice if I made it and then served it to them. So here it is. I'm going to follow my recipe to the letter so that you can as well. I've just chopped everything because uh, you can, you know how I chop things. you can chop as well and so what we're going to be working is a very 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 simple soup we're making carrot apple and cashew nut soup this is the secret ingredient here and so this uh here we go we're going to start with a large onion now these are my own onions i just put the heat on this pan here and i'm going to put some olive oil in here i mean that's Quite a bit of olive oil because things always taste nicer if they're a bit got a bit of olive oil in and also because um i do just a little bit of butter is going to go in there as well just to fry these things off that works okay let's get a nice big spoon and what i'm going to do here then when that butter and oil is, is warmed up a bit i'm just going to fry the onions this is really the simplest soup you could ever make so it's barely a recipe, really. I'm going to fry up the onions, add in these other ingredients and uh, follow the recipe. Start with a large chopped onion. And so this was two onions because it wasn't large. They were two medium sized ones. Um, carrots are peeled and chopped into chunks. Now, the thing about the chopping into chunks, this soup's going to be liquidized. It's going to be blended. So really all it needs to be is uh, all the chunks are about the same size and they're going to cook for quite a while and once they're all cooked through so it doesn't matter you, you don't need to worry about what size chunks you're going to cut this into they're all going to be smashed up together at the end um okay so uh, see what it says it's terribly simple i can't really make this any harder than it is that's a really easy recipe but it is a very delicious recipe because soup is delicious. And, you know, here we are in January and soup's kind of like what's called for, really, isn't it? OK, so once that lot's melted all together, I'm going to add in my onions. To the pan there. There's a few of us for supper tonight. How many? Four. So this will this will serve four. Uh, this one. Well, there's five, really, if you count Agnes, but she's only going to get the soup second hand, isn't she? So that's OK. So I'm going to fry off those onions a bit. Oh, a chopped onion, a little butter and oil. And then the carrots chopped into chunks, the dessert apple. Now, this is a dessert apple. A very nice one. Mm, very good. So it's sweet. Carrots are sweet as well. This is quite a sweet soup, which is why my kids used to really like it. Carrots in next. And then the apple. Do you want the apple in now? OK, so we're just going to sweat all that off for a bit and let all that cook down. So really, 
simple soup. So I'll get back when I've done that and when all of this lot has just been coated with the oils and has just started to fry off a little bit. In the meantime, I'm just going to fill the kettle with all that so that I'll have the water ready when I need it and it won't have to warm up in the pan. Okay, we're back now. It's about five minutes later. The onion's nice and soft. The kettle's just come to the boil, which means that when I put the water in, it won't take ages to come back up to heat again. So I'm just going to turn that up. And then I'm just going to cover the veg and the apple with water to about there. Just cover the vegetables. And because we need to add a little bit of extra taste in there. These are stock granules. In fact, I'll show you what these are. I buy them in a big tub. It's this stuff, bouillon powder. Uh, it's really nice. It's uh, a, an organic um, stock powder. And I buy, a, I buy a big pot there and put it into a jar. So when you see me use this, this is what it is. And I'm gonna put about a heap teaspoon in. That'll do. It's really lovely. Sometimes I put that in a cup uh, with some boiling water and drink it and it's uh, really absolutely delicious. So I'm just going to let that come back up to the boil again. I'll let that boil away for a few minutes. Just on a simmer. What else does she say here? This uh, woman from the last homely house. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to put the nuts in soon. Cashew nuts, which are my favorite nut. Mm, they're so creamy and delicious. They're absolutely gorgeous. Something that we're gonna do for the topping in my little pan here, I'm just going to put the, my little pan and put some coconut oil in it. Just a bit. Maybe that much. And then I'm going to take a few cashews, that many. And chop them, maybe a couple more. Well, there's four of us coming for supper. And just chop those a little bit, clank through those with my big knife. And I'm just gonna fry those in this coconut oil until they've just gone lightly toasted and they will be absolutely delicious on top of this soup. There we go, let's take the very big ones. Oh dear. Oops, a daisy. There we go, that's fine. Okay, we'll fry those in there. Give those a little stir with this one here. There we go. Now I'm going to watch those like a hawk because they'll burn really quickly. Uh, if I'm not careful. Really, that's it. Except in a few minutes time, I'm going to put the cashew nuts in. And I say here a large handful. Oh, that's because it tastes great. And what happens when you put them into the soup like this is the nuts go very, very soft. And when I blend it, you won't even know there's nuts in there except for the lovely scrumptious taste. It's been about 15 minutes now. The nuts are nicely toasted in that pan there, let those cool down. And so now I'm gonna do this um, 
I'm going to put in my handful of nuts. So lid off. It's bubbling away nicely. And there's my large handful of cashew nuts. In they go. Lid back on. Turn it on to low and then we'll just forget about that for a good half hour or more. More. Okay, just leave it on there. I'll bring you back at the end and show you how I blend it up. Okay, now it's much later. The soup's all cooked. And the only thing I have to do now is whiz it up in the food processor. Now, because there are nuts in there, I mean, the nuts are really, really soft now because they've been cooking for the longest time. However, if you just mix this with an immersion blender, which is apparently... Um, what I used to do and Martha didn't used to like when she was a little girl. I've now got this really, really, really good blender, which has got a soup setting. And we've got people here to eat soup. People have arrived. Martha and Adam and Agnes are here and John's coming soon. So I'm going to put all this soup in here. Definitely best served, really velvety smooth, really best served that way. So let's find the lid. There it is. Okay. I'm going to make a very big noise now. So I'm gonna put this thing, so I'll just tell, I'm going to make a big noise. Okay, because the baby's just sitting over there. She might not like this. Uh, soup. It's got a soup setting there and we're just going to press that. through all those different settings and then what comes out here now is mm, velvety smooth sweet delicious soup so I'm just going to pour it back in the pan the perfect consistency
So we're going to eat this now, guys. So, uh, yeah, that's carrot, apple, and cashew nut soup. See you next time. Wave, everyone. <laughs> oh, Agnes is waving.